Hello everyone, welcome to this month's podcast for Cha-Ching. I am Chris and today we're going to be talking to you about how does your credit score actually affect you. So the question is, as I said, how does your credit score affect you? In the near future you may want to get an apartment, a new car, obtain a credit card, or even get a job. Each of these requires a strong credit score and it is important to keep your score high. What are credit scores? The credit scores are calculated from information on your credit report. Lenders use your score to determine credit worthiness and also employers check it for outstanding issues. A poor credit score can cost you thousands of dollars in uh, interest charges and possibly even the employment that you're seeking. So the question is how do you establish a credit score? In the beginning of your financial life you will have zero credit lines, meaning you will not have any credit score at all. To start, you will have low limits on your credit cards and the like, and understand that no score is better than a bad score. You have to keep that in mind. It gives you the opportunity to build your credit right away from the ground up. And it's a good thing to establish that foundation in the first place then. Talk to your parents or a credit union representative about getting a copy of your credit report. They can actually help you find out where to get that or even obtain that for you. When you turn 18, you should obtain a credit report annually. Uh, this helps you to check and maintain your credit score number and this is something that you should be doing uh, as it says yearly so you can keep track of what's going on and if there's any discrepancies you can clear that up by finding out the source of those. What makes up a credit score? Several elements uh, included in the higher your score is the better. 650 or higher will usually qualify you for a standard loan. Less than 650 might lead to problems, and I have some people in my life that have definitely had problems because of a low credit score, outstanding uh, balances on their credit cards that they took out through stores and everything, so it can cause uh, very many financial problems. There are some of those in the key elements, which are uh, your payment history. If you're late or you have skipped payments, it reduces your score. Uh, so always pay on time and pay early if possible depending on how much you can actually obtain to pay off those credit cards. The amount of your outstanding debt also goes into this score. Going above 50% of your credit limit will reduce your score. It's best to stay below 30%. Your credit account history is also a factor. It is better to have a few long-term accounts than many short-lived ones. Instead of multiple store credit cards, like the ones I had mentioned earlier that some of my friends have, find one with good uh, rates and stick to it. Talk to your credit union about some options. They may actually have some credit cards at your credit union that will come out to better rates than you might be able to obtain from uh, stores themselves. So check in with a credit union representative and see if they can help you with that. It also, what, what other things involve in your credit score is the number of inquiries. So I had told you to check annually, uh, once a year, and sometimes twice a year is okay, but the more you check it, the more discrepancies show up and people tend to, um, it tends to lower that, that credit score because there's a, they think that there's, I guess, a problem going into that. Opening too many accounts will negatively affect your credit score. That great deal the store is offering you for additional savings is not worth your score suffering. So. Uh, even though you may go into a store and there may be a great deal on something, an even better deal if you open up a credit card through the store that reduces that price even more, opening a an additional line of credit could negative in, it negatively impact your score and work against you in the end. So a little savings here is not worth the trouble of the long financial haul for your lifetime. The kinds of credit types that you have also affect your score. A balanced mix of different types of credit is best for a good score. A lot of credit card debt and no other type of debt to speak of looks bad on a credit score. Just manage what you have responsibly, and responsibly is the key word there. Always keep track of what's going on in your budget. So establish your credit, manage it well, and you have a good shot at a healthy financial future. Uh, positive habits now will help you in the future, so if you find yourself in trouble, don't ignore it. Seek help immediately, uh, go to your parents and ask them if there's if any advice that they have for you, or go to your credit union and talk to them about how you can actually manage your credit a little bit better. Uh, you don't want to find yourself in the kinds of situations that I told you about earlier with some of my friends where it's hard to establish any type of loan. 
If in the future you want to go for a brand new car or something, you may have to forego that new car and go for a kind of clunker just because you couldn't get the credit to take out towards that new car. So that's very important. So if you have any questions, go to see your credit union representative. In the meantime, uh, good luck with everything and we'll see you next month on the Cha-Ching Podcast.